What's happening boys and girls and welcome back to the channel. Today is episode 2 of Rags to Riches. If you missed the first episode, I'll put the playlist up in the top corner and you can watch that first episode. What we're going to be doing today is going and getting our mining to 10 so that we can start the Night Sword, get our smithing up through that quest and then after that we're going to start the Dwarf Cannon quest and what that's going to do is unlock cannonballs for me and what that means is whenever I'm just AFKing or doing something else, I can just do cannonballs on this account and that is going to make so much money just passively I won't even have to think about making some money and then when we do go and film these episodes we'll mix it up but that's going to be our sort of pastime passive money maker is going to be cannibals so today is getting ourselves set up for that so we need to go and buy ourselves a few items from the GE and go and do night sword so we're going to go and pick up an iron pickaxe just because that's going to make getting level 10 way quicker than using a bronze and we're going to head over to the back of Varrock and go and mine some tin and copper to get that to level 10. Here we go guys. This should be 10 mining coming in. There it is. That's the requirements we need for Night Sword. So let's go and sort everything else we need out in the GE. Go and sell all those bowstrings that we made in the last episode. We've got 600 to go and sell. Which should be around 80k. And that's easily going to fund everything that we're going to need to complete these two quests. And then it is literally going to be cannibals while I'm not making videos on this account. So it's going to be making decent money even when we're not playing it. Well, we'll be playing it, but AFK in it. We don't use no bots here. So let's go and sell all these bowstrings. One, three, two. Looks like we're going to get 79k for them. Yes. Ooh, 80k. Boom. There we go. I'm going to sell the iron pickaxe off as well and go and buy a steel one just because it's a little bit better and I don't want to be down in the uh, cave too long with those ice warriors around. Just so that we don't die, I can't be asked to have to all go all the way back. So there we go. We sold that. Got the steel. Let's put that on and let's go and start this quest. Right, here we go. Go and speak to the squire, and he's going to tell us that he's lost the sword, and he's uh, not having a great day. Uh, and he says, yeah. Well, Sir Vivian is a good guy to work for. However, I'm in a spot of trouble today. He's gone and lost that sword. I can make you a new sword if you like. Effectively, what we tell him is that we can go and try and make a new one, uh, and there's a dwarf somewhere that can help us. So, let's give it a go. Thanks, man. No worries. So we talk to Reldo, and he tells us about the uh, the dwarves that are living somewhere. What do you know about the dwarves and the Imkando dwarves? Uh, he tells us that he believes there's one over in Port Sarim. So we're going to go over there and have a little chat with him. Right, so we're here over by Thurgo's, and we need to go and speak to him. He's going to be an absolute twat to us um, until we give him a red berry pie. Who wants to know? Maybe you'd like a red berry pie. Oh, and his eyes just light up. Thank you very much. And then, bam, he like gobbles it up in front of us. And now we're like, best of buds. Can you make me a special sword? And then, yeah, he's pretty keen to do it. What he needs is a picture of this sword. And we need to go and do it. Let's just check the knight sword. Doug, I need to see a picture of the sword before he can help me. I should probably talk to the squire. So we need to go back to Falador, grab this picture, come back to Thurgo, and then we'll be able to create this sword. Okay, so Sir Vivian is in there. Vivian, whatever you want to call him. And if we search this, there's a small portrait. So now we need to go back to Thurgo, show him this, and he'll tell us to mine some blurite. And then that's pretty much the quest done. So we got the portrait, and now we need to go and show Thurgo it's, uh, about the sword. We show it to him. He's like, yeah, I know what you need. I know what you need. Look at that little, look at this dude. Imagine eating so many red berry pies that you look like this. Have another one, bro. Right, so we now need to go and get blue eye ore. And I've realised we only have 17 HP. I thought we were actually a lot stronger of an account. But we're not. So what we need to do is uh, peg this. Fuck off. 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 Lose aggro. Lose aggro. Let's go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. 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 I don't think he's going to come here. 57. Come on. There we go. Cool. Uh, yeah, we'll just run out. So I was certain we'd have to uh, forge it, like smelt the ores together, but apparently Thurgo could just fucking do it without that. So uh, there we go, we got the uh, Blurite Sword. I have retrieved your sword for you, oh thank you, and then boom, 12.7k smithing XP with a quest point as well. That takes us instantly to 29 smithing, which is super cool. I'm two-handed swords. Ooh, okay, so what we need to now do is get this to 35 so that we can smith cannibals. We also need to do the dwarf cannon quest or partially do it uh, so that we can get to the ammo molds. Uh, we're going to go and smash the dwarf cannon first just because I feel like let's get all the quests out of the way and then we can just make this into the alt or the cannonball alt that we want to start with. It's going to make some decent money to start with. 
Right, so we made it to Captain Lorgoth, and we need to make sure we go through all the options, is what the guide says. I'm sorry, I'm too busy. Uh, sure, I'd be honoured to join. Cool, let's, uh, let's go. Sounds pretty easy. Yes, sir, Captain. Okay, awesome. So we got some railings. I'm guessing we need to go and bash these railings in. Inspect railing, maybe? So we went and fixed all of those railings. Well done, Trooper! <laughs> I'm a fucking Trooper. The goblins seem to have been stopped. We stopped the goblins? Hells yeah! You search the crate, you find a child. What the fuck? <laughs> Thank heavens you saved me. I thought I'd be goblin. Look at that thing! <laughs> okay, so we are here to fix the multi-cannon. So I don't know who we need to talk to. Maybe like, is there an engineer or something? This bloke? No. Does it say here? Captain, no. He just says go fix it. Okay, maybe maybe this bloke? Or is there numb duff? Because I swear... The door is locked? Well, fuck you then. That's rude, mate. It's the middle of the fucking day and you've locked your door. Jesus Christ. Talk to this bloke. Oh, hello. Do I know you? My name is Lynx. Lynx Alterina. No, never heard of you. Blo! Do you know how fucking famous I am? I nearly have 5k subs on YouTube, mate. With your fucking bow tie and your monocle. I don't fucking know you, you fucking twat. We actually need to go back to where we started. This is the wrong place to use it on. So we're going back to Barbarian Outpost. I'm going to go back to the uh, Captain Lorgoff or whatever the fuck he's called. And we fix his cannon, not the one there. Fuck's sake. There we go. <laughs> the multi-cannon. There we go. She's ready. She's done. Let's talk to old Captain Lorgoff. Surely he's over the moon with us. Hello there, trooper. I'm such a trooper. I've done it. Take a look. That's fantastic. Well done. Keep an eye out for goblins. Hey, thanks, bro. So, guys, we just spoke to this dude here, and we can actually go and make our cannonballs now. But I'm going to finish the quest just so that we get it done. We might as well. But uh, that is all you have to do in the uh, cannonball quest to get cannonballs. But uh, we are going to go and finish it. So, what have we got left to do? I don't think there's much to do anything. I need to speak to Lorgoff again. I think that's, that's it done, actually. Right, guys, so I've gone and bought 100 iron bars, and uh, we've just got 30 smithing from making a few iron chain bodies. We can actually go and make steel daggers now, so I'm not sure whether they're going to be better XP than making plate bodies with iron bars. So I'm quickly going to check that, and I'll get back to you in a second. It's better to make steel daggers. Yeah, that's pretty self-explanatory. 44k. Are we going to have enough steel bars? We might as well put all of our money into steel bars here, because uh, we can get... Just under 100. 44. Because even when we start, we're going to be making cannibals with these. So let's uh, buy all those. There we go. We've got a little bit of cash left. So we'll go and make these into our steel daggers and whatever we can do from there. And hopefully that's going to be enough. Right, so we got through all those bars and we got to 32 smithing. So it definitely wasn't enough. We're going to go and sell everything we made. For 5k, which is not going to be enough again. So we're going to have to go and actually buy some flax with the money we've got. Make maybe like 400, 500 of it again. And then that will easily get us close enough. So that's the grind we're about to go on. So let's grab the money out. Let's grab those out as well. And then we'll buy some bows with some flax with this. And we'll make them into bowstrings. Right, so we just finished up doing those 700 flaxes. I had the uh, stream to keep me happy live on Twitch at the moment. Guys, if you don't follow me over on Twitch, the link is in the description. Fucking shameless plug right there. But anyway, let's go and sell all of these. It should be, yeah, 92k. Let's drop that. Boom. Oh, 93k. Right, let's go and buy all of these steel bars. We're going to put it all into the steel bars. Every single one we can buy. There we go. 35 smithing has been achieved. Let's go and buy 42. There we go. We're ready for this. Let's go and put all those in. 100 bars. Let's see how much 100 bars is going to make us. Let's start and get those out. We need the ammo mold as well. Here we go, guys. The first cannonball inventory. We've worked out with the chat that this is the more efficient bank stand rather than that one. Let's go and smelt the furnace. Make all the cannonballs. There we go. Uh, let's see how much uh, inventory is worth once we've done this. I'll get back to you guys once this inventory is done and we'll do a price check on the cannibals. So that is an inventory done and the great thing about cannibals is they're so AFK. It literally takes like almost two minutes for a whole inventory to be done and it makes sick money. So let's go and put all those in. 
And as you can say, 20k an inventory. Uh, let's go and see how much the steel bars cost per inventory to just uh, to have a little workout of what costs. So they're 12k, so it's like 7, 8k an inventory is what we're making. It's super good and super AFK. There is 75, 78k made. We're going to go again and just chuck that all back into steel bars. 81, there we go. We should be able to buy all of those straight up. There we go. Awesome, 170. That is going to make a shit ton of them, which is awesome. We've still got like 6k in the bank as well. So if we chuck all of those back in and boom, we'll go and do another inventory. And this is the second lot of cannibals. Let's go and sell all of those as well. 120k. We've now got our first ever over 100k cash stack. We're going to go and invest them all back into steel bars. I want to be at the point where we have like probably like 300, 400k and then I'll move on to some other stuff. So I'm going to be AFK in this for probably the next day or so. We should have easily 400 to maybe nearly a million if I AFK it properly for the whole day. We should easily have enough for all of that. Let's bump up this price. Go and buy 200. So let's go and sell all these cannonballs we made. This is going to be the final price check. So let's uh, chuck those in. <laughs> Big boy. Right, we're going to get over 300k. 313k. Let's go and chuck that into the bank. And the final price check is coming out at 361k we're at. So we're effectively a tenth of the way to the bond two days into the account. So it looks like we're going to be able to smash this out. Next episode, what I'm going to be doing is getting the combat stats up and getting Slayer up. I really want that Slayer to 65 ASAP. So that's going to be a lot of AFKing Slayer and getting that up. Because as soon as you hit 65, you get Dust Devils. We're going to have to do Desert Treasure for Dust Devils, though. Maybe we'll just go through and get, like, Wyverns, Necreals, and, like, Kurasks. Maybe we'll just go for a higher Slayer level. I'm not sure. But yeah, pretty much this is what the account is looking like now. We're 180 total level. We got the smithing up to 42. We got the crafting up to 35, doing those bowstrings. The magic still sat at 26. I'll definitely get that up a little bit higher at some point in the near future. And the combat stats are looking very lonesome, so they're going to be going up in the next episode. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this one. Please do drop a comment down below letting me know if you did. And if you haven't already, do click that like button. If you're new around here, drop a subscribe, and I will catch you in the next one. Never gonna give you up I'm never gonna let you go Never gonna say goodbye, no Never gonna give you up